interesting because what was happening was, what I used to like to say was, we were, I was always as good as the last five plays I've read. Um, and that was really, you know, so it actually it was a site for, you know, for all of us at the organization to go, these were all the plays that actually we've been working on. And, you know, anytime somebody would say, do you have plays, I just pull a site up, you know. Uh, just create an intranet where they could, where we would put everything online that they could go to. We jokingly called it Dramapedia. I mean, they're new ones that are emerging, but, you know, with the reorganization, we need to know our history with the reorganization of the National Endowment for the Arts and after the culture wars, when fellowships vastly disappeared, it made that, that dichotomy of where resources go even greater. And so the perception by artists that institutions are privileged because they have easily gotten resources but of course, our organizations, our institutions, struggle just as much as the individual artists. Many years ago that, that he, he felt that being a, a person of color, a person who was different in the mainstream theater world, meant that you always had to be the oracular representative of your race. <laughs> uh, and we laughed about it then, but it, every, every day of my career, it becomes more and more true. What can we do if all of us as a field, as the U.S. new play sector, uh, were to coordinate all of our energies and information resources and data, coordinate that, really design it in a way, aggregate it, and, um, and and see if that would actually create, create any value for the field.